Hello there, Flying Fox and Bambi Productions here, so I'm going to be doing another trains race. And also, before we start, I hope you're all having a great Halloween. And yeah, just to say that, hope you're all having a great Halloween since it is the 31st of October, just to mention that. So, but no, that's actually kind of irrelevant. So what we're doing, we have, we're doing a race with some great Western tank engines. I know we don't have like all of them, but we have a good selection of them. So, like, like I said, I love the Great Western Railway, and their tank engines are like, they, there's just something about Great Western tank engines that are just, that, that's just different from the rest of the big fours. I think I've, I think I've used that same line when I did the, the race with the Great Western Tender engines. Yeah, I think so. So, I did say in my, so since I've done a race with the Great Western Tender engines, I'm going to be do. so this is about the race with the Great Western tank engines. So, who do we have in this race? We're gonna start from smaller, work our way to the biggest. So, we got the smallest to the biggest. Yeah, a great, great lineup. The first we got a 14XX, or a 1400, or a 48XX, or whatever you wanna call it. An awesome 042, which, yeah, it was a great engine. Then we have the one which is mo the, the, the most famous one, the 57XX Pannier tank, which everyone knows this as Duck. From Thomas the Tank Engine and the Wooden XX is also known as Oliver. So you got Duck and Oliver, even though like uh Duck is number five seven four one. Oh, that one's five seven four four. Oh. And Oliver's fourteen thirty six. Oh yeah, they're not really Duck and Oliver, you know, like, even though they are the same bases. And the next one is one of my favorites, uh ninety four XX. I know it is the most odd one out of the Pannier tanks, but I I, I just found the ninety four hundreds very unique. The next one, we got a small prairie, nothing to say about it. A large prairie, also nothing that much to say about it. Wait a minute, is that 5199? I've seen 5199 when I went to Didcot Railway Center for the 2024 prairie event. Then 5199 was there. How, re how, re how relevant. Then we have a 42XX, which is an awesome big 2A toe. And then we have a 72XX, which is a 282 locomotive. Wait, a 282 Mikado in tank engine form? Oh. Huh. So each one of these engines are pulling one co one code. All of them are the same. And, and see, like, you know, like, this, you can see how, like, each engine is, goes from the, the, the least long, from the least longest to the most longest, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. It's quite a good selection of these Great Western Tank engines. I know, like, we, I don't have, like, all of them placed in there, but, you know, there isn't enough room for, like, all of them. So, I decided to just have this one since they're one of my, since I absolutely love them. These engines are great. So, yeah, let's waste no more time and let's see who's the fastest. And, oh, and before we start, I ha if I had to think who would win the race, I think the big tank engines would win since you know, they're big. I kind of think that the that the that the large prairie might win, but I sort of have doubts with the with the small prairie, the forty two XX and the seventy two XX because nope, their wheels are quite small, but the large prairie's wheels are a bit bigger. I also think that the fourteen XX might win since you know, these things were very fast; they could go up to like eighty miles an hour. So these are very fast, but I don't know if any of the I like like I'm not sure. We just don't know who's gonna win this race. So, let's just set all these engines up. Let's get this race going. That's a very long pause there. So, yeah, I don't know who's going to win. Probably it might be the Large Prairie or the 14XX. But the others, I sort of have my doubts. But, you know, let's just let's just see who's going to win this. And prepare. And I have to probably brace myself because there's probably might be a loads of lag from this thing. So, I have to, I have to be aware. I have to put my camera down. Ready? Put that ready, steady, go, and they're on the way. And who's it? Whoa! Look, the the the, the ninety four XX and the small prairie are leading. Wow! Blimey! Look at that! The the ninety four XX. Oh my god! It's so laggy at the moment. Who's in the lead? It's the it's the ninety four XX. The nine the ninety four XX is in the lead. How is this possible that she's in the lead? I am absolutely surprised about the ninety four XX. 
Wow, like, I'm so surprised the 94XX is in the lead! And I can't move my camera since it's so laggy. Who is this? Is that? It's the small prairie. The small prairie is in second place. Wow! I that thing. That thing is literally in second place. It's, it's, it's such a small out of the big engines, of the big tank engines to be precise. So yeah, here goes the small prairie, which I'm absolutely mind blown of how fast she started. And who is next? It's the 57XX. The 57XX and the 14XX, the Large Prairie and the 72 or the 42XX. Is that the 70? Is, I think that's the, the 42XX. Yeah, that is the 42XX. Here goes the 14XX. God, these names are just so weird to pronounce. They're just so tiring to pronounce. So here's the here's the 42XX. And like the 14, the 42 and the 57XX are in sync. They're like, they're literally going at the same speed. How is this possible they're going at the same speed? That's just it. Wait, is that, is that, is that, that's the Lodge Perry. Oh my gosh, the Lodge Perry. Sorry, I have to leave you two behind. Whoa, is that the, the Lodge Perry? It's going to overtake the 40. Wait, who is this? Is that the, the, the small Perry? Wait, the, the Lodge Perry is going to take the small. Here it is. The, the, 30, the, the, the Lodge Perry just overtook the small Perry. I, I have to catch my breath. I can't speak. I can't speak right now. The, 30, the, the, the Lodge Perry is leaving everyone the dust. Here, she, here he goes. The, 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 the how is the, I I am so surprised that that thing just came out of nowhere. And here goes all the here goes all the other engines. That they're, they're just they're, they're not really that much separated, but they sort of are. Oh, so here goes here goes the here goes the fifty one XX large prairie tank, which I'm absolutely mind blown how fast this thing is going. But that like these are very good looking tank engines. I I swear, uh, they are very good tank engines. I'm not just saying just because the, it's win just because it's in the lead. I'm just saying they're just very good engines. You can't deny them. The like the great like apart from like uh, apart from the 94XX, these are my what well, my second favorite Great Western tank engines. That's just my opinion. So yeah, here goes 5199 or 5199 as I would like to call her. So here she goes. Wow, she's absolutely flying along those rails. She's just she's just coasting along those rails at a very nice and very fast pace. How fast are we doing? Oh, like I'm I'm going over 85. I'm going over 86. I'm where are the rest of them? They're nowhere to be seen. Where is Oh, here's the large prairie. Oh, wait, I wait have to I, I'm gonna be doing some like drive-by shots of these engines. So I can get a clear view. So yeah, here's my flight cam. Here goes the 51XX large prairie tank. And next is the is the is the small prairie. Next is the small prairie tank. I'm absolutely surprised about the small prairie. And the next one is the wait, no, not, not the 50 not the 57XX, it's the 94XX. And the fi and the 57XX is just behind it. Followed by the 14XX, followed by the 4200. Wow. Okay. Okay. I just. I'm just gonna catch up to these engines. So yeah, let's leave you behind, Large Prairie. We have to go and see the other engines and see how they're doing. So here. So yeah, we're ready to do the drive-bys. Right. So get my camera positioned. Let's get to the drive-bys. So here goes the 55 XX. The pan. A uh, small prairie. Not the pan. It's a small prairie. So here goes the small prairie, followed by the 94XX pannier tank, followed by the 57XX pannier tank, followed by the 14XX. So here it goes. Here goes the 94XX, here goes the 57XX, and here goes the 14XX. Here goes the 42XX, which is absolutely f like, she is doing well. Wait, is that the 72XX? Let, let me see. I don't want to bother going my camera. Yep, it is the 72XX. Wow. Well, he's he's not he's not doing very well, isn't he? Poor lad. Sorry, but I don't I, I can't waste any more time trying to to drive by shots of you. I need to catch up with all these other Great Western tank engines. So I think the small prairie is literally just down there, far in the distance. Here's the 57XX, the 94XX, and the 14XX. So yeah, all these all these engines are just so like all these engines are just so like 
Like, they're literally... They're, they're just going so fast, I don't even know where to speak. I think it's probably those names. They're, they're, they're just so weird. They're just... No, not weird to pronounce. They're just... They're just... They're just so hard to pronounce it, and they're going very fast. So here goes the 14XX. Along with the 50... Oh, wait. Since the 14XX is on the inner line, it should... It should probably overtake the 57XX. Look at that. These two chugging along together. I mean, that's just, that's just a very awesome sign. You can't deny, like, a, a Pannier tank engine with a 1400 is just absolutely a wonderful sign. Well, j or probably because, you know, Oliver and Duck. Yeah, but that's probably, that's probably the Duck and Oliver. This, you know, the great western, the, the little western duo. Yeah. So, right after that is the 94XX Pannier tank. Which he, he's in, no, uh, third place, I believe. And now we're on to the second lap. So yeah, here goes the 94XX. So, sorry my friend, gotta catch up with the rest. What? Oh, whoa, the, the, the small prairie's all the way down there. Where's the, where's, where's the large prairie? He's, she's nowhere to be seen. Where's the large prairie? She's literally nowhere to be seen. Sorry, small prairie, but I got, where is the, where, oh, she's all the way down there. Oh my god, like, how fast is she going? Okay, I, I'm i gonna still be doing some drive-by shots wh while my flying camera will catch up to, to the to the, to the the large prairie. So here goes the small prairie. At a very, at a very nice pace. You know, but these are tank engines. I'm not, I'm not, like, expecting them to go ludicrously fast. I'm not expecting them to go very, very fast or going at tremendous speed. This is just a little race with them. They're not really designed for speed. So here goes the 94XX. The 57XX and the 14XX who has just overtaken the 57XX. Good job. And here goes the 42XX. 2 a toe. And over there, a little dot, is the 72XX. So where is the where is the small where's the I mean the large parry? Where is she? I that's literally I can't even find her. Oh wait, she's just about to cross the finish line! Oh my god, she's about to cross the finish line! Wait, no, 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 she's not about to cross the finish line, never mind. But here she is! Here she is! Here's the, here's the large prairie! Oh my god, so laggy, but here's still, here's the large prairie! How is she going so fast? I'm literally struggling to catch up to her! Here's my flying camera! So, I think we have to conclude that the winner of this race is the 51XX large prairie tank. Which is absolutely surprising. She just humiliated me. Wow. It, like, this is not a race. That's a humiliation. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm just saying. Like, I was not expecting the large prairie to be that fast. I was expecting her to be fast, but I wasn't expecting her to be that fast. I mean, my. You, like, you're just, you're just so fast. So yeah, we have to conclude that the Great Western 51XX Large Prairie Tank from the Great Western Railway is, without doubt, the fastest Great Western Railway tank engine in this race. Well, there could be other en other tank engines now faster than the Large Prairie, but still. She was the fastest one in this race, and she got to cross the, cross the Mario Kart finish line, and there she goes. Right, so stop my flying camera. And also stop the and also stop the large prairie. There she goes. You've done all well, girl. You've done very well, girl. You you absolutely you are uh, you really impressed me in this race. You've done absolutely well, old girl. Right. So now let's wait for the others. Well, they're they're they're, they're far away. Yeah, they're very they're, they're very far away. Who's that? Yeah, that that's that's the small prairie. Wow, it's gonna take—it's gonna—it's gonna, it's gonna take a long time for them to arrive. So I think we have to conclude this. Th maybe, maybe, maybe the results might change, but but I but I think it, I don't think it will change. The, the the small prairie will be in second place, and here goes the ninety. Uh, the, here goes the ninety four XX, followed by the fourteen XX. And the 57XX, so the 57XX is going slower than the 14XX. Wow. And there goes the 42XX, who looks like she's... She looks like she's probably catching up to the to the rest of the others. 
Like, I think she, she's prob she's probably catching up. I like, I'm not sure, but it but she she must be catching. I mean, she has to be. Do another drive-by shot of the 94XX, the 14XX, the 57XX, and the 42XX. God, these names are just so are just so hard to pronounce while seeing so fast. <sighs> so yeah, here they go. They're not going that fast, but you know, but they're, they're like I said, they're tank engines. They're not supposed. They're not. They're not really designed for speed. They're just designed to like work on like branch lines and pull local trains and pull these auto coaches. Maybe I should have added the auto coaches instead. Well, not all Great West Tank. Not all Great Western tank engines were auto fitted. I think the 9400s were not auto coach. Well, no, no, were not auto fitted engines. So yeah, I'll do this little drive by shots of them again. And but like still, I know that the that the small prairie has already crossed the finish line, but you know still. So here they go. Right, so now time to get back to the finish line. I have to pause. Oh never mind, she she, she actually didn't cross. So in second place is the Great Western Railway Small Prairie 45XX. 955XX, it's a 45XX because of the side tanks and that says 45. So yeah, here she goes. She's just gonna take a stroll in. She's just gonna take a little stop. Well, she is she is stopping quite rapidly, quite hard. Yeah, wishing some steam. There you go. You've done absolutely well. I was not expecting a little tank engine like you to be very fast, but yeah. yeah. Oh, that's gonna be so. Yeah, here comes the rest. So I think the 94XX is going to be in 3rd place, then the 14XX in 4th place, then the 57XX in 5th place. So we're going to be stopping all these engines. And the 94XX is in 3rd place, the 14XX is in 4th place, and in the 5th place is the 57XX. Wow. And in 6th place is the 42XX, who just crossed the finish line. So I'm gonna make some shots of them just just strolling in, just taking into a stop. God, it's so laggy. And now I have to stop you, Mr. Uh, M Mr. 42XX. We have to slow you down. You've done absolutely well, me like, you're not, you're not supposed to be the fastest, but you know, but you did try your best, Mr. 42XX, and now just passed the large parry. So here, so here she go. Here he goes. Just grinds to a halt, wishing some steam. Yeah, you've done well. Right. So we have to. So we have to conclude all the winners. So the large pra So the large prairie was in. So the large prairie was in first place. Good job. Done a little whistle. Eh, pretty basic whistle. In second place. Over there. So in second place is is the large no no not the large the, the small prairie. God, they're so hard to pronounce sometimes. This is the small prairie tank. In third place, no no not them. In third place was the, was the ninety four XX, which you've done you've done well, mate. In um fourth place was the and it was the fourteen XX. 14, the 14 XX was in fourth place. Fifth place was the 57 XX Pannier tank. You've done well. And um, in um, si sixth sixth place is the 42 XX, which you've done so well. And now, which is approaching and stoned at last, is now approaching is the 72 XX, which I'm a bit disappointed. But you know, I don't really have to blame the engines for that since you know they, it wasn't their fault that they were very slow. But like I was expecting higher expectations from from the 72XX. But you know, I'm not I'm not gonna put the blame on it. At least it tried, and that's all that matters. At least the all the engines tried their best. But still, yeah. So in first place is is the Large Prairie, which is awesome 262. And then stone dead last is the 72XX282. That's not good, I'm afraid. 
So yeah, this was the risk with the ultimate Grey Western tank engine race in trains. Uh, uh, not really the the ultimate, but you know, it, it's sort of an ultimate in a way. Well, that's how I would describe it anyway. So like, there may be there may be there may be another Grey Western tank engine race which is which is very ultimate. But yeah, this still I digress. So yeah, I really love this race. I absolutely love this. All the engines have done so well. Some of them may may have not been very successful at the race, but they at least they tried their best. Yeah, so you've all done very well. The 57 X X and the 14. I, I I like every time when I see a 15 X a 57 X X and a 14 X X. I always think of Duncan Oliver, so I'm a Thomas fan myself, but you know, like I said, not every Pannier tank engine is Duck, and not every 14XX is Oliver. Just saying. I mean, like, that, that is true. Yeah. And, yeah, that's not, not really that much else to it. And then, I really loved this race, and I think after this race, I might be doing a race with some... Mm, probably uh, no, no. The the BR build look. Um, yeah, we're gonna be doing uh, the next race will be with BR standards, which I know this is not your one of your favorite eras since most of the engines are pretty basic and mostly the same, and they have they're not really that interesting. But I personally like I I like I should but like I absolutely like the BR standards. So yeah, I I have a good selection of them. Not every single one of them, unfortunately, but. Probably enough to actually make a race out of this. So yeah, but still, yeah, that that's gonna be for next time. So I'm going. To, so yeah, the next race will be about the BR standards, and probably after that, maybe some LMS, and after that, probably some LNER, and uh, other than that. So yeah, yeah, the yeah, the rest of the the rest you all know. We we all we all don't know what's gonna come next. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video, like the video, and subscribe most of all, and have a happy Halloween, because it's Halloween. Today, the 31st of October, it's Halloween. What am I even saying? I should probably just end the video. So, yep. Subscribe. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. And also follow my DeviantArt and Instagram. Yeah, not that much else to say. Other than, have a nice day and have a nice Halloween. And just a little whistle of the, of the, of the large prairie. A very cute but basic whistle. So yeah, goodbye, have a nice day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.